Hey guys, Lamar here. I wanted to tell you a little bit about what's going on with the old 66 over here. And if you'll just stay tuned, I'll get right back with you and show you what's going on. Okay guys, so you remember in one of the previous videos, we talked about this old heater channel that's uh, off a donor car. And if you remember, the heater channel needed uh, some work down in this general section right here, and uh, and on the uh, on the opposite side as well. So I've so I've got all that patched up, and so here in the background, uh, you can see the old '66, and I've already done a little bit of cutting on it. But let's walk over here, and I'll show you exactly what I've already done. Okay, guys. So I've taken my four and a half inch grinder with what best of light that you can see here and i've come in right here and took the cutoff wheel that's on it and i've started here on the inside right on the top of the heater channel and worked my way all the way around all the way back here to the end now i haven't gotten back into this particular section right here as of yet but I've got a line cut all the way down through here and right here. The front, the outside of it hasn't been cut yet. I've also taken my, my cutting wheel and I cut off right around through here. And you can barely see a little bit of light through there. And so that's, that's what I've gotten done so far. And of course, obviously I'm gonna cut the rest of it from the outside. But uh, if you'll just stick around with me, I'll come back and show you the finished parts, product of, of what's going on. But hey, remember, Anytime that you're cutting channels out, you need to <clears throat> have a brace. I've got this one in here welded up really good, all four corners. So, uh, you know, you may want to put an angle one in from, from left to right, you know, up and down. But, you know, I just didn't do that. So, y'all just stick around. Okay, so the old channel is now out. So, what I've done here on the back especially is... This piece here, uh, it comes off the body, and there's a line right here. And from this particular piece to the bottom of the heater channel, uh, I've got it measured at somewhere else, but it's probably about a quarter to five sixteenths inch to the to the round of the bottom of the heater channel. And then, as then as most of you know, when this this quarter panel comes down and makes a lip, there's a there's about a half inch. Uh, piece that hangs down that's where you weld to your heater channel so what I done with my cutoff wheel I just stuck that up there and just cut and just cut right in to the heater channel all the way back and then I took my my cutoff wheel and went in behind this body lip right here so I done that and I didn't do didn't put a lot of thinking into the back end part here back up here in the corner but I'll I'll get to that and we'll figure out how we're going to weld that back into place so over here on this side the previous owner uh, due to some rust had come in and put fiberglass um, a patch over all this right here but what I've done I started on the inside and I made a cut right at the top of the heater channel and just made me a, a baseline all the way down through here and so this is where your firewall is on the inside. That's where the heater channel butts up to the front. So we'll get in there and we'll get all this stuff ground out up here in the front. We'll get some, some pieces welded in and we'll get all that done. And if you'll notice, I got this mark. This is where I think my cut line is gonna be to weld in the new piece. And you're thinking, well, dang, you know, why, why so high? I mean, I can come over here and and cut into it and whatever but i'm thinking of my my hinge bracket over here so if i come up from the top of the hinge bracket maybe about an inch so if you'll come up about an inch you'll see there's where my cut line is going to be and it's going to roll it all the way around and i'll do the same on the inside so uh now there's just comes a lot of measuring and taking care of it and I know one thing the car is going to be about three pounds lighter because of all the rust now I don't know how much it is but anyway 
So guys, as we continue on this journey, keep watching back, keep looking out for what all is going on, and I'll keep you posted on, on the uh, 66 update. And some of the stuff we got back here for the old 65 back here in the corner. We got we got some goodies coming up on it too. And I'll, I'll get to putting some of it in here as well. But hey, you guys don't give up on us. Come back, tune in, bug out.